The battlefield skill ceiling is something I've been thinking about more and more recently. New players are joining daily as we've seen many of the battlefield games go on sale or become free through Prime, and it's an exciting time to get involved in the franchise, especially with 2042 on the horizon. Across both console and PC, people are becoming more interested in battlefield broadly and have been tipping their toes into the all-out warfare many of us have been playing for years and years. So this has got me thinking, does Battlefield actually have a skill ceiling? Do consistent players ever reach a point where they've learned everything possible in Battlefield, or is there always something we can learn when playing on a near daily basis? I myself am by no means a top tier player, I have my ups and downs like most people, and I'm definitely still improving at Battlefield, so don't think I'll be reaching a ceiling anytime soon. Instead, I'm referring more to those top tier players who are incredibly skilled in their respective roles, or just Battlefield in general, of which there are also many across all platforms. To break it down even further, I wanted to separate it into infantry and boots on the ground gameplay, alongside vehicle gameplay, to discuss if either of these areas have a definitive skill ceiling, or if any player can continuously improve throughout the course of them playing Battlefield, and even across different iterations of the game as well. Infantry play across the board has certainly seen changes in the past few Battlefield titles, with new mechanics being added and changing constantly during their respective life cycles. Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 especially brought in advanced movement like vaulting and sliding, which we hadn't seen previously in the franchise, increasing the amount of maneuverability players could utilise without abusing mechanics in the game. With this in mind, infantry gameplay at its core still remains pretty constant throughout, as it still relies on the active aiming, recoil control and general accuracy of your shots to win the gunfights. This is something that only consistency and time invested can help improve, or through using aim trainers and the firing ranges within the games as additional development areas too, if you want to try and boost muscle memory and general mechanical ability. But once the movement mechanics have been mastered, the skill ceiling basically does fall to how accurate you can be with any particular weapon in any engagement. Therefore, I think that new players getting into Battlefield from other titles will, and probably should, start focusing on their infantry play before heading into vehicles. That leads me nicely onto vehicles and the skill ceiling of the extremely proficient pilots, tankers and ship captains across the modern and historical battlefield games. In contrast to standard infantry play, I would say that each type of vehicle, tank, plane, helicopters, etc. all have different nuances which need to be mastered, from specific weaponry and equipment to their movement and travel time. When you feel like you have a strong vehicle setup in terms of how you've outfitted your chosen vehicle, it then again goes back to the overall time spent practicing and improving your skills. However, I think that the overall skill ceiling for vehicles generally is higher than just playing an infantry focused role. This is mainly due to the fact that there are a lot more variables to take into account when flying a jet or a helicopter, driving a tank or an LAV towards an enemy. This is because instead of having to worry about enemy gunfire and explosives, and vehicles as an instant death for the infantry player, you must rely on your counters to specific opponents and how they attempt to take down your vehicle instead. An example of this is clearly the use of active protection in Battlefield 4 to destroy incoming projectiles, with a more adept vehicle players being able to time this so that they're able to get out of a difficult situation, reposition and then begin their assault again. With that in mind, I'd say that vehicle specific gameplay definitely has a higher skill ceiling in comparison to solely infantry flight, but of course, infantry gameplay is the easiest to get into when initially picking up a battlefield title and where the average player can easily develop from much faster. I want to open this to the floor though, let me know if you think that battlefield's skill ceiling is high or high enough. And do we need more mechanics in the next game to really push top players to the next level? Metaphorically, of course, we still don't actually know what the max level is going to be in 2042 yet. And a word of caution for new players, I'd definitely suggest learning the basics of infantry play and how to counter vehicles before really trying to get to grips with the vehicles themselves. This is mainly because you'll have learnt how the counters are deployed first, and so you'll have an understanding of what you need to be aware of and watch out for from a vehicle perspective. I'm not a big vehicle guy at all, but I might even try to test myself and get to grips with some of the vehicles before 2042 as well. Anyway, you know the score, let's get out there, let's get after it, and I'll catch you all in the next one.